Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us on the program. So, a big question is what your leaders are earning in Nigeria, especially the parliamentarians, the senators this time around. From our research, it does look like the ratio of earnings to GDP, uh, Nigerian lawmakers earns about 115 times more than an average citizen in Nigeria compared to the 18,000 18, Naira minimum wage, 115 times more than an average citizen in Nigeria. That's the ratio based on the facts that we have, especially when Senator Shewustani comes up with the figures they earn. 13.5 million running costs monthly and 750,000 Naira. So let's get back to the conversation. The chairman of NRP, let's get his views on this, Mr. Tokwe Fasua. For what do you see on the ground? If there's anything urgent that must be done on this situation, what must that be? Well, I think it's a total overhaul of the system we're talking about. Honorable uh, Idaosa here has mentioned as much. Uh, why did we buy the American system hook, line, and sinker and off the shelf? Uh, who said that we cannot tweak with it, even if it was if we wanted to do presidential? Uh, the Americans, they vote for... Recently, we've seen all this debate about uh, uh, federating units and all of that, and how the governors want to pocket the local government. In Americans, the sheriff stands, up for, stands to be voted for. That is the local DPO. Imagine us voting for the DPO. They didn't come to ask Nigeria that they wanted to stop voting for their DPO. We can change things around. We, we, we can do, do uh, part-time legislation. I was in the House of, British House of Lords in 2013, and I discovered that the, what the House of Lords, the, the, the Lord, what the, what the end, which is their own Senate in Britain, which is our, own, uh, the, the, our colonial master, you know, the, the Lords, they earn 150 pounds per sitting. That is uh, equivalent of 75,000 naira per sitting, and that is all they earn. And that is if they come for sitting. If they don't come for sitting, they don't earn. It used to be 300 pounds. When the economy went into a downturn, they went and talked to them, and the babas there, they said, why not if not? These are accomplished men. Look at our standing. The first thing that occurred to me when you showed those pictures is, you see how scanty the place looked? Maybe half of them are on seat at every point in time. And then a lot of them are sleeping. And then a lot of them have been governors, and, you know, they're just there to clown. So what are we talking about in a country that should understand the urgency of now? We're basically joking around. So to a large extent, but perhaps we we'll even draw this home. The, the say, Senator Sabi Abdullahi was talking about the intangibles they do and the laws they make. And uh, if they didn't make, I don't know what, where, which are the laws, which breakdown of law and order have we not seen in Nigeria? that would say that the Senate, uh, the laws that the passed in the National Assembly could have prevented. They have not prevented all the clashes of headers and farmers. They have not prevented Boko Haram. They haven't done anything. So what are we talking about? Right. We need a total overhaul. And finally, I'll say that um, the, 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 we need to, look, you compare the, the figures with the GDP. That's a very, very, uh, it's a false, uh, it's, it's a wrong kind of comparison. Uh, compared with our budget, right? Why would 469 people take 5% of our budget or more? And, and, and again, this is a budget that is also underperforming, and a budget that is right. under-imaginative. Let, let, Angola, let, let's get a Angola, closing. Angola, Angola, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Angola does $47 billion in budget this year. Angola is doing $47 billion for 25 million people. Nigeria is doing $23 billion for 180 million people. South okay. Africa is doing $155 billion for 50 million people. Nigeria is doing $23 billion. And the same money these guys... Let, take, let's put, go to... Uh, uh, let's get a closing. Because of our time now, Mr. Fasua, let's get a closing it's thought ridiculous. of uh, Honorable West Idaosa. As it stands right now, you've been there before. A lot of your colleagues will say, oh, we did not plan of this ourselves. What do you think is the solution? Just in about 30 seconds so that we can close. I think the ultimate solution is to, is to go the West ministerial style. I mean, we have no alternative than that. Then we cannot do otherwise. We have to review the structure of the legislature in our country and move away from the prototype American type and come up with an accommodated type of parliament that will represent our reality. Honorable Wesley Dowser, a former member of the House of Representative Policy and Governance Expert, Mr. Tokwe Fasua, National Chairman of uh, the Abundant Nigeria Renewal Party, NRP. Many thanks for your thoughts tonight on the program.
Well, that's how we anchor on the show today. Many thanks for watching wherever you may be tonight. I'm Shonwa Kimbale. Bye-bye.